King Kong. Oh, my bad. Sorry, not that one. Kong School Island is what the King Kong franchise needed. It was really cool when I got to my theater, they were handing out these cool dog tags with uh, Kong Skull Island on it. This movie starts off with the team explorers who found an island never before seen by humans. Led by John Goodman's character and accompanied by Houston and San. Played by Corey Hopkins and Tian Ying. They set out to get everybody they need for this adventure. They get a tracker named James Conrad, played by Tom Hiddleston. Let me list all the ways you're gonna die. Rain, heat, disease carrying flies. And we haven't started on the things that want to eat your life. And a photographer named Mason Weaver, played by the lovely Brie Larson. The only way they can get to the island is through the military. Packard, played by Samuel Jackson, and his boys take them to the mysterious Skull Island. Once they get there, they realize this is not just an island, but an island full of monsters. Is that a monkey? This movie brings old 70 war movies mixed with monster flicks to a perfect combination that is Kong Skull Island. This is not your typical giant monster movie. All the characters have depth. I love how they gave pretty much everybody a backstory, and you get to learn a lot about each of the characters. All the actors in this film did a great job. The island in this is beautiful. As you see in the trailer, there are things called skull crawlers, as John C. Riley's character explains. These things are crazy lizard-like skeleton creatures that come up from the earth, and they are the enemy to the island. All the CGI in this looks great. Kong looks amazing in this, and his presence is outstanding. Certain shots with him were very epic. Not only do you get some great story, but you also get a lot of awesome monster battles. It's very engaging, you feel like you are there, because most of the battles are shot from a lower angle, so it really feels like you are in the action. For a PG-13 movie, this was actually pretty violent, which I have no problems with and I liked a lot. The soundtrack in this was pretty good. A lot of the typical 70s Vietnam music that they use, um, but other than that, the score is really great. The only negatives I can really think in this movie were there are a lot of typical uh, movie tropes that um, I totally called, which was fine. It didn't really affect the movie um, too much. The ending of this was one of my favorite parts. I'm really glad that they included it. This is what King Kong needed. I can definitely say this is better than the 2005 version. As long as they say on this track, I really wouldn't mind a Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. In all, if you're down for a good story and awesome action monster movie, then definitely go see Kong Skull Island. And this is why... I give it an 8 out of 10. If you guys like this review, hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.